former Republican State House Majority Leader Adam Hasner and former Democratic U.S. Congressman Ron Klein are now here in the studio with us to break down the year in politics. Gentlemen, thank you so much for being here. We want to specifically start with, of course, the president spends so much time here on Palm Beach. Uh, he spent a lot of his first year here. Do we expect to see more of that in 2018? Adam, we'll start with you. Well, I do. Uh, who wouldn't want to come to Palm Beach, especially uh, <laughs> when it's freezing cold up north. But I think the criticism has been misplaced because we've always said or we've heard people want a successful business person to be in the White House. Well, now we have somebody who happens to have properties in Palm Beach and other places around the country. And when he wants to get out of Washington, get out of the Beltway and talk amongst the people, what a better place to come than your own place here in Palm Beach and be around people who support you and, and who are going to give you real insight. So I, I hope he comes down. I hope he continues to spend more time here and I hope it continues continues to stay warm throughout the winter. <laughs> what does his connection to South Florida mean for Florida politics? Well, I, I guess one last comment on, on this point. Talk among the people? Not quite sure I see that uh, when, when he's down here, but there is a golf course here and he likes to play a lot of golf, even though he criticized President Obama about that. You know, he, uh, you know there is a lot of influence uh, over President Trump's uh, coming to Florida and being part of Florida because uh, Governor Scott is probably going to run for Senate against Bill Nelson, an incumbent. And there's a governor's race and a whole lot of other races. And the influence of who's at the top of the ticket, even though he's not on the ballot this year, President Trump is on the ballot. He is AKA Republican Party at this moment. And that will be that way for the rest of this year. So uh, if people are happy with President Trump, that will probably put a, a, a positive veneer on, on the campaigns for the Republicans. And if they're probably the way they think right now, it'll probably hurt Republicans running for office. And for Democrats in a midterm election, and there's an all Republican cast in Washington, that usually helps Democrats. Adam, what do you think? Ron's right. We're going to be following Florida politics very closely with the governor's race and the Senate race. But the big races are going to be who keeps control of the House of Representatives in Washington. And we've seen waves in the past. We saw it in 2006 when President Bush wasn't popular, the Democrats took control. We saw it in 2010 when the Republicans took control after Obamacare. And I think this year we're going to have some competitive congressional races right here in Palm Beach County with Congressman Brian Mass down in Miami with Congressman Curbelo. And the majority, Republicans keeping the majority, is going to hang in the balance. And so if uh, 2018 turns out to be a good year with Republicans from the tax overhaul as well as other agenda items uh, that you're going to see next year, I think the Republicans can hold on to that majority. And it's not typical that the uh, same party holds on to the majority when they're in the White House. All right, 2018 going to be very interesting. Gentlemen, thank you so much, as always, for your insight and Happy New Year to you both. You too. Happy New Year.